In this video, I'm going to build a hand from each category on the mock American Mahjong card. This is a really great exercise for beginners, but it's also a great exercise to do when the new card comes out. That way you can get used to the new combinations that are released for that year. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. Also, if you haven't downloaded the Mock American Mahjong card, there's a link below the video so that you can print it out or look at it electronically during this exercise. I have a strip for every category on the National Mahjong League card. Other cards may or may not have these same categories, but the idea of the exercise will be the same regardless of the card you use and regardless of the year. Just know that the colors, letters, and numbers are all going to be applicable from year to year and card to card. It's just the combinations themselves may change. The Mock American Mahjong card has the same categories as the National Mahjong League card. So we're gonna build one hand in each category. So let's go ahead and start with the year category. So here we have the hand. We have a pair of flowers, the year tiles, a Kong of red dragons, and a block of news, N-E-W-S. So we have a complete hand. What I want you to notice in this particular situation is the parentheses says that the tiles for the year need to be any one suit, but the dragon needs to be opposite the suit. So for example, we would not be able to use a green dragon because the green dragon corresponds with the 2018 year. Now we could use white dragons here, as long as the suit is opposite the BAM suit. Now I want to point out that we have a pair, a block of single tiles, and another block of single tiles. You cannot use a joker with a pair or a block of single tiles. Here we can use any number of jokers because we have three or more identical tiles. So that's an example of the year. And this, by the way, is a concealed hand, 30 point hand. Let's go to the next category, which is evens. This is going to have three suits, three colors, three suits. So I'm going to stop there. We have two suits right now. Pairs are dots, then the pungs are bams. Because we chose to do dots for suit one, bams for suit two, the only missing suit here is the crack suit. So we need the dragon that corresponds to that suit, which is the red dragon. So dots, bams, cracks are represented, even though the crack suit itself is not here since we have the corresponding dragon it represents the crack suit so we have three colors three suits dots bams and cracks as far as jokers in this situation we can use jokers for the pungs and the kong but not for the pairs you cannot use jokers with a pair that is a 25 point hand and really because you can call for more than half the suit as far as claiming a discard to complete those these you have to draw though all right we're going to go on to the next category the next category is like numbers there are two hands in the like number category let's do the concealed one We're gonna stop right there because I wanna point out, flowers are always blue in color. The numbered tiles are always gonna be in red, green, or blue, indicating mixed suits. 
So here we have two suits, two colors. We have dots and bands. The next block for this hand requires news. So we have a pair and then a Kong of fives, another Kong of fives with news. These are the like numbers. It can be any two Kongs. So for example, we could use cracks if we wanted to. It just depends on what you start with or what tiles you get during the pick and discard phase of the game. So this is an example of like numbers. The two Kongs are the same number in two different suits because those two blocks of tiles are different colors. Two colors means two suits here. So the flowers and the winds are blue. These are used interchangeably with the suits. We're gonna go on to the next category. For the addition category, let's work with the last hand and let's do it in mixed suits. So here we have three colors, three suits, dots, cracks, bams. We have four flowers, a Kong of ones, a Kong of nines, and a one and a zero. I guess I should put it in order. Incidentally, when you're playing the game, the order doesn't matter. Even if you claim a discard to make an exposure, the order on your rack doesn't matter. But when you win, you need to have it in the order on the card. That will facilitate validating the hand by your opponents. So we have mixed suits, nine plus one equals 10. As far as jokers here, you can use any number of jokers for the first three blocks, but for this one, you cannot use jokers because they're a block of single tiles. Let's go on to the next category. We're going into the middle panel now under quince. This is where you need lots of jokers, preferably three minimum, typically. We need four consecutive numbers in one suit. One color means one suit. So we need four consecutive numbers. Let's start with a three. Pair of threes, Pung of fours, Kong of fives, Quint of sixes. Pair, Pung, Kong, Quint. You can use jokers for these three blocks, but not with the pair of threes. So for example, let's say that we didn't have all the fives or the fours you could do something like this. Any number of jokers can be used with a block of tiles of three identical tiles or more. So even though we have a pair of fours, we've extended it to a three of a kind with the help of this joker. So this is a three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind. We're going on to the next category, consecutive run. We need four consecutive numbers in two suits. So here we have Pair, pung, 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 pung. You can use jokers for any of these blocks here, but not the pair. We have two suits, dots and bams. Now in the consecutive run category, you can begin your sequence 
with any number as long as you end at nine. So in this case, we're building it based on what we see on the card, but you could use a two to start with. So if that were the case, we would use two, three, two, three, four. That would mean we need five BAMs. Four consecutive numbers, two suits, BAMs and dots. These could be cracks and dots, as long as they're two different suits. Two colors means two suits. Let's go on to the next category. For the odd category, we can work on all one suit, or we could work on a range of tiles that includes 13579, but there are also many situations here where we're working on either little odds, 135, or big odds, 579. Let's go ahead and work on a big odd hand. One quick way you can count your tiles is to take four from each side and just make a split. If you have six in the middle, you have enough tiles. So here we have a pair of flowers, a pung of fives, a pung of sevens, a pung of nines, and a pung of dragons. Two colors, two suits. Because the dragon corresponds with the cracks, that's considered one suit. This is also an example of what's called a knitted hand because we're alternating suits. Bam, crack, bam, crack. That would be called knitted. So you're kind of looping with the suits. You can use jokers for these four blocks, not for the pair. We're going to go on to the next category, which takes us to the right panel. For the Wind and Dragon category, let's build a hand with numbers in it. Look at the second hand from the bottom. We need a Kong of East, a Kong of West, and pairs of any even number. So we have a Kong of East, pairs of eights, and a Kong of West. The pairs have to be the same number, any like even number. So this could be two, four, six, or eight, as long as each suit is represented and they're pairs of that same number. Let's go on to the next category. For this category, let's build the second from the bottom, three, six, nine in pairs, and then Kongs of like numbers in two other suits. Three colors means three suits. So here we have three suits, cracks, bams, dots. Three suits, three colors. Three colors, three suits. The interesting thing with this hand is the Kongs can be threes, sixes, or nines. In this case, they're sixes. But these could be threes or nines as long as it's the same number. Let's go on to the very last category, singles and pairs. Under singles and pairs, let's build the biggest hand on the card. Last hand. Pair. 2018. 2018, two suits. News. These are all singles with a pair of flowers. You cannot use jokers with any of these blocks 
because you cannot use a joker with a pair and you cannot use a joker with a block of single tiles. Incidentally, while you're building a hand with single tiles, you cannot complete it with a discarded tile unless you are ready to win. So let's say we have a discard to get rid of and someone discards this white dragon. If they discard it, we cannot claim it to complete it like this because these are single tiles. You can only claim a discard for a block of tiles of four or three or greater identical tiles. These are all single, so you have to draw them all yourself, or one of them is your waiting to win tile. So for example, let's say that we were waiting to win on a two bam. If someone discards the two bam, that's when we could go ahead and declare mahjong on that discard. When you do this exercise, build every hand in every category. This way you can familiarize your set with the combinations and read the parentheses for each hand so you have a full understanding of how to build it. When a new card comes out, whether it's in January or April, get your tiles out and repeat this exercise. Build every hand in every category. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Be sure to click the bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.